Were you told you were shy? Do you identify as shy? Do you hate that word now? Do you just wish you could get over it and get on with your life? Welcome to Shining Beyond Shy, empowering you to create a greater life than you ever thought was possible. With your Shining Beyond Shy host, Fiona Cups. Hi, everybody. Fiona Katz here, your host for Shining Beyond Shy. And this week, in deference to Valentine's Day, I'm calling this episode Shy People Like Romance Too, <laughs> which makes me laugh, may not have made me laugh in the past. So let's just start with this. I'm going to use the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement. If you don't already know it, you can find out more about it at theclearingstatement.com. So everything that title brings up in your world, shy people like romance too, anywhere you're like, ooh, ooh, ah, whatever it is for you, will you let go of it, destroy and uncreate it? Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. That's the clearing statement. And what it does is just release everything that's up for you when I talk about being shy in relationships to a romance. It may also bring up stuff for you around the real word romance, because I wasn't quite sure what to say, whether to use the even more R uh, word, the even more crazy word, the relationship word, or even the sex word. So everything that those words, the R word and the S word, the relationship, romance, sex, all that stuff brings up for you, will you destroy and uncreate it? Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And so I was thinking, it's like Valentine's Day kind of brings back these memories of being at school and, you know, the, the sort of the bright, pretty girls having all the Valentine's cards and were you going to get one and did you really know who it was from and blah, 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 blah. And so all that stuff from the past, let's just let it go, destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And just notice that stuff around, oh, did I get a card? Oh, did I not get a card? That has nothing actually to do with connection with a person, connection with yourself. Actually has everything to do, oh, my body's going mad. Everything to do with proving, proving that you're great because you got a valentine proving that you're even more great and even more pretty and even more popular because you've got two, three, four or five Valentines, whatever that is. So all of that, I seem to be using the clearing statement a lot, but let's go for it. All of that stuff that me bringing up those energies from the past brings up in your worlds, will you let it go now, destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pop and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What if who you are now whether you've only just left school, let's say you're 16, you're 18, or you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, your 80s, or 90s. Wouldn't it be amazing to be um, having new romances and new adventures into our 90s and beyond? So um, wherever you are in that age spectrum, what if you can let go of that, those memories from the past? those ways of functioning around Valentine's Day that actually come from childhood and school have nothing to do with who we actually are now. Anything that doesn't allow that, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, that feels um, lighter and clearer already. So yeah, shy people and romance. So I don't know about you, but for me, it's kind of been that sort of push-pull thing. And it's like, yes, I'm interested in meeting people. Yes, I'm interested in having a relationship, having romance, having sex. And then it's like, ah, ah, the other person's a bit close. I'm a bit too much. Not that I even had any cognitive idea of what was going on years ago. It was just I knew that it's like if I wasn't in a relationship, a relationship seemed enticing. If I was in one, it can often be a bit ah. And then more recently, I've got clearer about what's true for me. And actually, what's true for me is that I love having time to myself. And I really love 
spending time with other people, including um, with a lover or with a partner, if there's one on the scene, and um, well, with friends. Uh, if uh, well, with friends, I love I love both. That's the point I'm making. I love and my 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 time on my own is essential. And there have been times during COVID where I've almost lost lost sight of that because I've had so much time on my own. I'm like, where are the people? Where are the people? But if I'm really really honest with myself, I know that I require that time on my own. It's just that it can tip into being too much, which is actually why I left Montenegro and am now in Zagreb, where I have way more contact with other people. And I'm still looking for more of that. Um, that's another story. And but it's really good as shy people to acknowledge that if we do require and desire that time on our own, let's have that. <laughs> Excuse me. And let's not be afraid of voicing that, sharing that with a possible partner or indeed someone who we're already in relationship with. So relationships should be evolving living entities, not something that's fixed. So just because you've spent all your time with someone, if that's what you've created, or if you're spending, I don't know, 70% of your time with someone and it doesn't work for you, or you've noticed that it was great in the beginning and isn't so great now, then really feel free to have a chat about that and be aware of the other person and how you um, voice stuff if you would like it to change. Always be aware of the other person, include the other person. But just know, and I know this from experience, that if I don't voice it when I'm starting to feel a bit suffocated, when I'm starting to spend too much time with another person, when I feel like I don't have that freedom to have my own free time, and the free time isn't necessarily even about spending time on my own. Sometimes when I'm in a relationship, I like to get out on my own and do fun things on my own. And that's just me. Not everybody desires or requires that. But get really clear on what you desire and require. And it may not overlap with what your partner desires or requires. And actually, that can also be fine. You can have a discussion about that, see what's really, really required for you to be in a relationship. And I'm going into lots of detail here, um, but let, let's keep it more to the shyness aspect. So going back, there's nothing wrong with desiring time on your own. There's nothing wrong with voicing that. But there's also the other way around. As shy people, we can sometimes be, oh, I don't know if I can really be bothered with this relationship thing. And um, actually, if, if you do desire some kind of relationship, just be barriers down, vulnerable with yourself. Oh, I, I, I would like something different. Maybe some of the relationships you've had so far have not had that kindness for you that you would really like. So if you're looking for somebody, then ask for what you would like. Oh, I'd like someone who's going to be kind to me. And then be really, really super vulnerable with you. Am I being kind to me? Oh, okay, I'm being kinder to me than I was, but I could be way kinder to me. And there's a lot of energy on that. So all that energy that comes up as I talk about this, Will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And here's the thing. If you're not being kind to you, then nobody else. Well, there are a couple of things here. I was going to say nobody else will be kind to you. But it's also if there is someone who's kind or trying to be kind, you won't be able to receive that kindness because you're not willing to be that kindness for you. So how do we change this? Well, you can just ask to be shown, hey, body, show me, show me what kindness is for you. So we have, the, we have us, Fiona, the infinite being, you, the infinite being, and our bodies. Hey, body, show me what's kindness for you. Show me how I can be kind to you. And your body will show you. Your body will communicate in different ways to show you. Universe, show me what kindness is. 
And kindness often isn't what we think it is. So just ask to be shown what kindness is. And continue to ask if you'd like someone kind to show up in your life. Continue to ask for that person. And they will show up, whether it's in an intimate relationship or in other parts of your life. And I'm talking, of, I mean, this is romance, Valentine's Day. I'm talking about intimate relationships. And it's like that in the rest of our lives. We can be like, oh, this girlfriend was, was a bitch or whatever. And if we're not willing to have the kind people, if we're not willing to be kind to us, we won't have those kind people around us. So that's what I would love to say, and that's what I would invite you to, to asking for the kind people to show up, no matter what. I think that's all I have to say for now. There's so much to say on this topic, and maybe I will venture more into the area of shy people and relationships in the future. And for now, that's what I'd like to say. Really, what could that change in the world if we were all willing to be kinder to us? Okay, beautiful people. Um, I will see you again next week and I wish you a happy Valentine's Day or if you're listening later, I wish you a happy day and whatever you desire with a romance. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm so grateful for you. It would be great if you could subscribe, great if you could even review wherever you're listening. And if you'd like some quick, simple tips to overcome shyness wherever you are, please go to my website fiancats.com where you can download my free product, 5 Steps to Overcoming Shyness Wherever You Are. Thank you again, and see you next time.